Hi, I'm Jan, and this is my van, Kimani. And Kimani is an East African word that means adventurous traveler. So come on in, let me show you what's inside my Kimani van. This is my 2016 Ford Transit medium roof. It's a 148 wheelbase, um, XLT 350. I purchased it um, October of last year. It took me a long time to find a van. I knew I wanted something to stand up in. And um, so what I did, it was a 15 passenger and I just removed the seats and just put down the vinyl here. I left underneath it, I left some of the seat hooks up. You can't see it, but you can tell right there, some of the seat hooks um, are underneath here. So if I wanted to anchor something down with my zip ties, they're already there. Sometimes I travel with my grandchildren. So that means I will put two seats back here. I remove this out of the way and the two seats will go there for my grandbabies. But this is my desk because I do work while I'm traveling um, as much as possible. If I got good internet, I can work. Right. Um, but this desk is it serves two purposes for me to. That's my cook countertop here. I got that's actually contact paper. Just make it look like it's a countertop. And I use this these items here is where I store my. Um, it's like my pantry. And up under here is extra storage where I put my books and my computer stuff, things that I need to get my work done. This is a no bill. I change it with the wind. Every trip I, I come up with a different things. Right now I'm into the flowers. Um, so yes, this is a desk. And this right here, of course, since people want to know how to use the bathroom, this is my porta potty is underneath there. This is actually a um this cover came from my daughter's wedding. This was a seat uh -huh. cover for her chairs at the at the wedding. So, and it fits perfectly over my porta potty. So it's just um, the porta potty. I mean, I just put out blackout curtains. One of the difficult things that I had, um, I was encountering was putting up my window protection when I want to stealth park. Cause I stealth park in Savannah. I live most close to Savannah, Georgia. And um, perfect place to stealth park if you can keep the light out. So I found just putting in the curtains helped and on the back side of the curtains I have my reflectors and I think that keeps the heat um, from coming in in the winter time it also helped kept it a little warmer here because I have gone to the mountains in it well, here is my bed um, I've done the previous arrangements where I've, I've had the bed on the side but I think I get more space by having it back here mm -hmm. I've gone through a lot of changes when it comes to my dresser this serves also as my dresser my makeup um, I also have my crafting box bin down here because I like to do crafts, so that's down there. So this came in handy. I saw this. This is a bedroom dresser, but what I like about this is the these um, containers here are more sturdy than like this one here. That's kind of flimsy that I just got from Walmart, but I want to take advantage of my height. If I ever decide to go and actually have it built out and have my headliners removed, I think I have my cabinets up here. But I don't want the RV look of all the kitchen cabinets and stuff like that. I want it to be more relaxed. So when it came to my bed, I already had my mattress. It was a foam mattress. And I can't show it to you because it's way underneath here. But it's actually, it's the metal frame of a coffee table. Oh. It fits perfectly between my wheel wells. And I just put plywood board on it. Put your drill drill some holes so your mattress can breathe mm -hmm. and put my foam mattress on top and it creates my bed. This is, um, I have my power sources. It's my Blue Eddy back here. It's a thousand. Okay, my, that's my um, Blue Eddy. Here's my um, refrigerator. W-H-Y-N-T-E-R. -W like Quinter. You know, so. That's a big one, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your thousand watt runs that for how long? Yeah. Let's see how much power is it pulling now. Nothing. Hmm. Once it gets to a certain mm -hmm. temperature, it doesn't have to work till right, it needs right. to. And I have it set for 32. 32. Right? Uh -huh. And then, if, and when I start riding, I take it off of the, off of the power, off of this, and it runs through my cigarette lighter here. I got my van in October, and um, October the sixth, actually, I took my first trip was my anniversary trip. Um, we went to the mountains, and it was cold. But we survived. We heated with the uh, Mr. Buddy heater. These cushions here, that's where my husband sleep when he's with me. Because these, when I'm by myself, it serves as a seat. I have a seat so I can 
um, I can turn it this way. A lot of times I'll just prop it up against my bed. Oh yeah, it makes a, a makes a chair. Mm -hmm. So I have a seat, and then and when he's with me, see they would just totally unfold. The refrigerator come over here. Yes, and he's got this entire section right here. Oh, so it's seat. pretty much on the floor, it's but with floor, two right. mm -hmm. tripods. So it gives him, you know, good little room. Yeah. This is my memorial wall of my loved ones that I've lost. Um, I've had five family members pass within twenty two months of each other mm -hmm. yeah we was expecting these three birds to fly but yeah. we weren't expecting these two birds yeah. to fly yeah i'm not gonna get any younger than i am this very moment right now so what am i waiting for the passing of my family particularly my sister um really hit home because i'm still in that grieving process with her because she and i talked about travel mm. going to not in a van it actually didn't even cross our mind to travel in a van we was talking about traveling to Africa and Europe and all these places because we grew up military. So she was a customer travel. She married a military guy and I did too. And so I was just waiting for her to retire and she retired. But unfortunately, God needed another angel. I know she would say, girl, go for it. But they all would be shocked. Special mama bird that I actually am sleeping in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't leave the house much let alone come sleep in the woods. But it's, it's a lot of fun. And I would encourage anyone. Don't just think about it, be about it. If you think you can do it, you can do it. The biggest thing I have for people um, that really don't understand is the fear. Aren't you afraid? Mm -hmm. um, and we all think, and I think another lady here mentioned, we think our homes are the safest places for us. And her story was that propelled her to get out because her and she was not safe in her own home. My sister passed in her home. So when it's your time, it's your time. It's all to how you live in now. So don't worry about the what if. No, I told my husband, he said, what if? I said, what is the worst thing that could happen? He got quiet. I don't know what is the worst thing. I said, I could die and I'm gonna do that anyway. And I have the butterflies because I started a nonprofit in 2001 where before internet was really popular, I, I did my own application and did a nonprofit called My Sister's Keeper, Ministry of Restoration, and and that was providing services for women in my community, you know. I worked with foster children and I seen that there was a need and my little rural community didn't have GED programs and things like that, so mm -hmm. I created them. And the butterfly became my logo um, at that time. And now I can be an advocate for children that are in, unfortunately in child custody cases, so. I do I provide supervised visitation through my I have an LLC called Angel Eyes um, and I when when families go to court over child custody and the judge said that one of the parents in order to see their children need to be supervised <laughs> um, that's when I come in and yeah it it's her is. logo too and we're both <laughs> named Jan and Jan the butterflies <laughs> <laughs> that's how you found that's us that's how I found Butterfly tracks. I googled myself <laughs> to see what would come up. Jan butterflies vans and here we are. Tracks and we up. are together. Yes, you yes. know, someone asked me recently, how do I find all these dynamic mm -hmm. women? And they find each other. Right. right. We find each other. We find each other. We are a community. I'm sitting. I'm thinking. Oh wow. Do I want to go home? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta work. So yeah. right now. So I'm not full time. I've this is. I'm. I'm more of a. I won't say weekend warrior because I work weekends. Um, I do supervised visitation in three states under Angel Eyes, super, supervised visitation. So I service South Carolina, Georgia, and North Carolina. So North Carolina's weekend is coming up, so I've got to hit the roll and go that way. Um, during the pandemic, I thought about getting a bus or a van so I could have a mobile visitation center. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's well, I some... love the work you do. Well, that's something you. else that we have in common. I work for nonprofits. Right. A, a lot of I, what I, I, a lot of my career was we're, nonprofit. We're just sisters in yes, the other dimension. Yes. Same names and same everything. Logos yeah. and Logos, the bands and <laughs> Kinder and spirit. Yes, that's for sure. Oh, right. and all of us women are. We need to really talk more about mm -hmm. women coming into themselves. Yes, and for me, being a woman of color, it's like. Do black people camp? I'm like, what well, do we? I don't know. Well, I <laughs> want them to know that they do. Yes, we do. <laughs> There's a whole community out there, and yes. even the ones that are, I would say, I'm not senior, I'm seasoned. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and that's the name of my 
going to be the name of my um my goal is to I, I used to think I wanted to be a travel advisor. I don't want to book anyone's trip. I want to take the trips myself. And it's going to it's I already got my website that's waiting on my logo to um if I decide to replace my logo. I kind of like my butterflies, but it's going to be new season journeys cuz I'm in a new season in my life and a lot of my peers. I'm at the end of the baby boomer um deck <laughs> generation, you know, and to think I'm like God, we are we are baby boomers. We are almost the late sixties. We were ready to retire, you know. So there's no such thing as retirement. I tell people when I retire, that's when I'm with Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna live my life.